Hey, Shazam15 here. Right, this week's review is Johnny English. Sorry it's a bit late, but I had work commitments, which meant I really didn't have the free time to think through what I wanted to say and record it. So, you know, there will be one sooner than usual coming out following. Right, Johnny English, the um, film is Johnny English Reborn. Now, I watched, I remember watching the original Johnny English and, you know, it was classic tomfoolery. It was Mr. Bean in the intelligence service. That was fine. Johnny English Reborn is interesting because what they essentially do is they take the existing character of Johnny and they give him a splash of common sense. And the amusing part is it's very Western common sense achieved through Eastern mystical means. So there's a little bit of Eastern mysticism going on, there's a little bit... Of but then again, that kind of suits the plot, really. So, you know, a uh, general overview for those of you who just want me to cut to the chase. It's good. It's worth watching. It's dang entertaining at points. Right. Uh, let's see. Karen Gillian does a lovely performance... And the scary part is I didn't realise it was her until someone mentioned it. She is actually so un scully like it's fantastic. Anyway, uh giving uh the fact that the <laughs> fictional MI seven was merged with Toshiba of all companies just was amusing because <laughs> you have this idea of tech support and military and tech support and ministerial intelligence which is somewhat amusing when you consider the professional show exists anyway um skip forward skip forward uh let's see what is it yeah the common sense bit just to explain what i mean by that is a lot of the plot is set in the far east or with oriental type people or to use the american politically correct version Asians, but here we have a different Asian, so... <laughs> right. Anyway, uh... So, there's a little bit of martial artsy action going on. But... That is beautifully foiled every time by Johnny just thinking outside the box and just going for the most straightforward situation. Yes, Mr. Man, you are doing all those lovely little kicks... But there's a loose floorboard between your legs. Boop. Anyway, uh, yeah, so it's... There are moments where it's clearly Johnny, but there are other moments where... He's got a brain again. There's some lovely double-crossing a la the... Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy type sort of subplot going on. There's an international conspiracy type thing going on. It's a nice plot line, suitably complicated. Love interest. I would, but who wouldn't? Um, but that's tempered by the fact that she does fancy Johnny. So there's something going wrong in that girl's mind, if you ask me. Ron Atkinson is definitely starting to look his age. I mean, I. But, skipping that, there's fun gadgets, as you'd expect, and the absurdity of the gadgets is exploited to comic effect. There's the idea of multiple generational agents, which, once again, very Tinker Tailor Soldier spy ish. It's quite amusing. There's bits of James Bond, there's bits of Tinker Tailor, there's just Mr. Bean thrown in for comic effect, and just generally those little points where you're going, you know what I would do? I'd just punch the guy. Uh, yeah. It's also, you've got the younger character which provides the um, guy who just provides that new generational feel of this isn't the old days, let's do this properly. There's some particular amusing techniques of 
British people and yeah uh, the criticism I was going to label is I'm fairly sure Macau isn't in Hong Kong I think it might be near Hong Kong as I recall it's somewhere in southern China but Macau isn't Hong Kong that's about the only real major criticism I can label at it uh, possibly you could say the plot's a bit derivative but it's good for what it is I mean let's face it you don't go into that film for plot and you get more plot than you expect uh, Rowan Atkinson does his facial twitches which make even darlings look benign by comparison yeah there's pretty girls there's explosions there's jokes there's everything you really want I mean for what you need for from a Johnny English film it's decent and it's better than you'd expect from you know the well the previous film it's far better I might be called a yeah I might be accused of being silly for saying that but I honestly think it's a bit better than the original Johnny English anyway um have fun see you soon Ta-ra.